welcome back again all right so we get started with the design and the measurement for this is 10 inch by a normal crinoline and then we understand that our crinoline we have two, two sides side a is a plain part y side b is the part where we have a thread all right so you measure from part a which is the plain go to four and a half inch and then cuts remember to cut the edge where there is thread not the plain part so four and a half you measure four and a half um from the plain part down to where you have the thread and then you cut out um that part all right so we are left with four and a half inch of crinoline here and this is what we are going to work with to get our design and now on both edges you apply your gum normally Meanwhile, you are not folding into two. This is going to be straight like this. You're not folding into two. So applying your gum, you fold, you squeeze it together. If you cannot bear the hotness of the gum, you can use your thread to tie. You can use your uhu gum. At the moment, my um, my uhu gum wasn't available and that's why I'm using the candle gum. So you can use any of your gum to do this. All right, so I'm doing that on the other parts. Then I'm squeezing together to get a very firm, 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 firm work. All right, this is it. We are done with that. So the both edges. Okay, I'm showing you my old gum that got finished. So that's why I was not able to use my old gum. All right, so you bear the hotness if you don't have any option. All right, so we are getting started with the um design now the other edge where you cut out remember it's crinoline and it's going to be doing um bringing those rough edges so with your lighter you just have to with your lighter you um do that to be able to hold that edge together and so that it does not flip out all right i'm done with that so i'm going to start I'm going to start so please watch me carefully we're going to um do a running stitch from one edge of um where you applied your gum to the other edge remember we are um running a, we are making a running stitch on that part where you have the lighter so we are going to do that from one edge like i said carefully so that you don't have your crinoline scattered all over so i'm going to be doing that to the other end and this is me at the other end of the crinoline so the two sides comes together and then we have this lovely shape okay we are not there yet we've not gotten the exact shape we want so you're going to watch me carefully and see what i'll do now i'm using my hand to um let's say dress it now you can watch closely the way i'm pulling the design is coming out i'm pulling from the back i'm trying to arrange from the back i'm trying to make sure um it comes out now see this this is quite different from what we have from the first time when we had this now when you are done when you're satisfied with the design you want you tie when you're satisfied um, with what you want, you have it tied. So that's how to make that lovely design we saw on the crinoline fascinator. Like I said, a whole lot of design can be created with um, the crinoline fascinator. I have a crinoline class, a crinoline master class, where you can learn 15 types of design made with crinoline i tell you those designs are exquisite something that when you see you begin to imagine if this is actually a crinoline i'm going to be taking you step by step on how to work with your crinoline so if you're interested to join the class you can chat me up and then make your payment i'll add you to the class so that's it we have a lovely design made so for me i made mine five room Yes, the picture was four, but I decided to make five of them. 
I put it in one I thought you I made four already and so I made one here making it five of them so we are done with